Hey everybody, uh, Mike Babiak here. I uh, just wanted to uh, give a quick uh, little demo, uh, sort of a tour of my new uh, Pushpa Vina. Uh, Pushpa Vina is an Indian slide guitar, uh, one of several uh, that were designed by my friend and teacher, uh, the great Devashish Bhattacharya. Um, this is actually his newest creation. Um, <clears throat> um, the Pushpavina uh, is a little shorter scale than the, his uh, main guitar, the Chaturangi. Um, uh, the Chaturangi also has six melody strings. This has five. Uh, and then there are some other obvious differences. Instead of the large wooden body, um, it actually has a skin top. And so uh, like a banjo or a sarod. And so that gives it a really unique timbre. Um, uh, like, so, uh, let's see, let's go through the strings. Um, <clears throat> there are, um, five melody strings that you play with a tone bar, uh, like a, you know, like you play a dobro or a lap steel. Um, the melody strings in this case are tuned, uh, cause I'm working on Rag by Ravi. Um, uh, they're tuned to a, a C sharp minor chord. Uh, so you have C sharp, G sharp. Uh, e the minor third, so C sharp the root, G sharp the fifth, uh, E the minor third, and then back to the root C sharp and fifth again um, uh, the G sharp. Uh, in addition to the me uh, melody strings, um, you know. So that's the melody strings with the glass slide. Um, in, in addition to those strings, it also has chikari strings. Chikaris are sort of these percussive drone strings that are used as uh, uh, rhythmic accompaniment. Um, they're most prominent, uh, although you can hear them throughout a rag on a stringed instrument, um, they're m usually most prominent during the jala section of a rag, which is sort of the big climax uh, toward the end of a rag. And you might hear, you know, sort of thing. Uh, in addition to the melody strings and the chikaris, we also have these uh, three drone strings. Um, I think they're called, in some, some people call them a jora string, J-O-R-A. Uh, they can be tuned to, um, uh, to a chord or they can be tuned to the, the notes you want that you want to ring uh, and emphasize in a rag. In my case, um, the, the lowest one is tuned to the minor seven. Um, then the next one is the minor second. Uh, and then uh, the minor third. And so, uh, <clears throat> oh, you'll notice also it, it has um, a buzz block. Um, so that when you strike those strings, or when they ring for any reason, um, you get a little buzzy sound that's characteristic of, of say, the sitar um, uh, or other Indian instruments. And so, um, in this case, um, they also resonate. So if I play the E natural here, you know, the minor third, that, uh, that resonating string resonates along with it. You can... So I'll, I'll mute that resonating string. So here's just the e, e, the e natural without the resonating string, and here is it, here it is with the resonating string. Right. Uh, and that's true for then for the minor second and the minor seventh. In, and uh, in addition to then the melody strings, the chikaris, and these uh, drone strings, you also have sympathetic strings, and that's what these tuners are. Uh, and I actually haven't counted them yet, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 uh, resonating strings. Now, you don't actually play the resonating strings, and I don't know if you can actually see it, um, but they kind of go on a diagonal. Um, down under into the bridge uh, so that they're under the melody strings. So see if I can, if I'm looking at the monitor here, see if I can figure out how to show you. 
Oh yeah, there you got a real shot of them uh, going down um, from the from the tuners on down to the bridge. <clears throat> and so those actually just resonate along with whatever notes you're playing. And um, you should be able to hear this. I mean, it's pretty prominent live, at least. Um, Now, not to get too Nigel Tufnell, but I hope you can hear that resonating um, that lasts far beyond uh, when the, the struck note decays. All those other strings are vibrating along. Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> so that's the basic idea. Just beautiful, beautiful sound. Uh, anyway, I don't think there's much else to tell. Oh, yeah, here's there's some nice detail on it too, like this uh, really pretty rosette. Um, that's just so wonderful. Um, oh, and I'm not sure I can get the camera on this, but if you can see up here at the ed edge of the the nut, um, that's an elephant head right there with a little trunk coming out. Um, Anyway, um, so that's the Push Bovina. Um, and I uh, hope you find it interesting and, you know, you sure ought to, ought to think about uh, trying to learn. Thanks. Bye.